I will be teaching you a fill in this video, but try not to think of this as a drum fill lesson. Instead, think of this as a concept lesson. There's a very specific concept that allows this fill to exist in the first place. And by teaching you that concept, not only will you learn this fill, but you'll be able to make up your own fills. So let's jump on the kit and I'll start breaking this thing down for you. All right, so let's dive right into it. Now, you might be familiar with this fill. And if you're not, then hot dog on the stick, you just learned a new fill because that's a six stroke roll followed by right, left, left. So right, left, left, right, right, left, followed by right, left, left to give us a group of nine. And even though that's the same phrasing as the fill that I played in the intro, it does sound different. Here's the fill I played in the intro. And that one just has a little more bottom end to it. It hits you in the chest a little bit more, and that's because of the addition of the bass drum. So what does that feel? Well, simply put, it's a six stroke roll with kick right left added to the end of it. Once again, this is not a lesson about that. If you wanna learn that, that's fine. But for me, the real lesson is constant and variable. So the constant in this case is the six stroke roll. And real quick, I've had to answer this question a lot. So six stroke roll, it can be, if you see it on a rudiment chart, you'll probably see it either like this, so an eighth note followed by four sixteenth notes followed by another eighth note. Or you might see the four sixteenth notes up front followed by two eighth notes. Both are technically correct. Nowadays, I would say this is kind of the modern six stroke roll. So basically all the notes are equidistant and generally felt as 16th note triplets, single in the front, two doubles, single in the back, let's move on. So the constant is that modern six stroke roll. And then the variable is the three notes that come after it. Now I've been playing this fill. as long as I can remember, but I never took the time to poke it, to ask questions and to wonder like, could it be different? Is there anything I could change about it besides just the orchestration? And so having that realization of, well, yeah, the last three notes, the last three notes could be anything. It could be kick right, left. It could be right, left, kick. You could change the accent and the ghost note in the rights and the lefts. It could maybe even be right, kick, kick. Oh, biscuits. Oh, hell yeah. I'm not gonna do it. I mean, I could totally do it. I just don't wanna do it right now. But I am gonna practice that. And that's the point. Those last three notes, the variable could be anything you want. And to me, that's pretty cool. Now, goal tempo on this one is about 110 to 115. I'll play it a few times, but while I'm playing it, you don't have to play with me, but try to think like, what would you do for the variable? What would your three notes at the end of the six stroke roll be? So I hope you got something out of this. And if you like fills like this, head on over to mikeslessons.com and check out our fills courses, tons more stuff like this. But for now, go practice.